Everyone, welcome to the show. If you are a cyclist, there's a big, big opportunity coming up for you on May 17th. Greg LeMond, three-time Tour de France winner, will be in town, and you could ride with him. Wouldn't that be fun? We'll talk to Greg about that a little later on in the show. We'll find out what that's all about. Plus, well, if you are a uh, Jack McEnroe fan, then you know that Jack is the guy from Project Runway, and of course, you know that uh, Project Runway is having its uh, season finale tonight. We caught up with Jack, although he had to leave the show. Big things are still in store for him, and he was in town not too long ago. Hell yes, I'm the best. You're either in or you're out. I'm in, they're out. Jack is back. Back to 100%, that is. Seattle's Jack McEnroth had to leave Project Runway early for health reasons. But today, the fashion designer is feeling great. So great, we met up with him at the Lifelong Thrift Store on a recent trip home for one of his favorite pastimes. I love shopping thrift, but they have a good selection here, so there's some cool stuff. With help from some volunteers, Jack shows us that looking chic doesn't have to mean spending a lot. You know, especially if you are adept at sewing and altering and know, and you're a good shopper, and you really know what you like to wear, and your eye quickly goes to certain pieces, um, you can really find amazing things. I'm checking labels. I was attracted to the obvious the Burberry print skirt. Um, I think it's like $24, which originally would have been, you know, over 100 easily. Um, this is just the cashmere sweater. You can't go wrong with cashmere. And then the shoes are Prada. So, you know, some days you luck out. I found this great pinstripe shirt, which I love, and it's very me. Like, I, it's, this is from my collection, so I obviously am drawn to like that. And so I kind of based it all off of that, and we found this Tom Hilfiger pant, which I think is uh, $24. The shirt was, what did you say? 19. 19. And the jacket we just threw on top. I mean, it's kind of a style choice, but it's about $50, so the whole looks like under 100 bucks. Chopping tips aside, what we really want is some show scoop and his take on Project Runway's final three. His thoughts on Rami. I know they got on his case a lot for draping, 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 which he's really good at. And, and so as long as he really pushes uh, his abilities, I think, you know, he has a great chance. Then there's Jillian. I have to say, uh, as much as I like Jillian, um, by the time I left, um, I, she wasn't even really on my radar. And finally, the show's fan favorite, Christian. He's hilarious, and he's, he's a savant, really. He's just so, he's a prodigy, he's amazing. He sews about 10 times faster than all of us on the show. So which designer does Jack think will make the cut in the end? I've just been a fan of Christian since the get-go. And just watching him work and what he's capable of is really quite astounding. So I, that's, he gets my vote. Jack is so beloved. So many fans wrote in, said, bring Jack back, that the producers of the show are, well, talking to him about that. I'm going to find out more about Jack, his line of clothing, and things he's involved with, Lifelong AIDS Alliance, which is a great organization. Thanks, Jack, for his involvement there. You can always go to king5.com, and then we'll send you out into the hinterlands to all the different things that Jack is involved in. If a kid says to you, hey, Mom, I want to stay up for school, especially over in Bellevue, the YMCA, they've got some sports stacking going on, you'll say, I think that's a good thing. Josephine Chang has the story. 